I really thought of that. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> like, how crazy is that? I, when I, I was like, wow. Now that you actually, like, think about it. It does look like it, yeah. And, like, you could you maybe be those pillows. Those could be pillows. Yeah. Even. You see what I'm saying? I do see it now. Yeah, it's hard to unsee it now. Like, every time I look at a bed now, it's like, <laughs> B-E-D. <laughs> There's also, yeah, that's sick. Like, that blew my mind. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, what are you saying? Yeah. And they're like, just read it again. Read it. And yeah. then I'm like, paying close attention. I type it out in like, big letters. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome back to Two for Rise Podcast, where we document the rise of stardom, one of the talent and personalities. Like, comment, subscribe, get us to a thousand subscribers. There's a little pop up here that says how much we are close to a thousand subscribers. So if it's not at a thousand, get just, us there. Just push it over. You know, just meh. Just a little, give a little night tap, and then it'll be at a thousand. One, yeah. Yeah, you'll be considered our OG fans, you know? If you ever want to be an OG fan, here's a chance. Just hit the subscribe button. If you're not already. But if you are, we love you. But if not, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Get us there, man. Come on. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? That, like, they'll be considered like the OG fans. You know how you like, because we're not stopping. So there's no yeah. way we're stopping. So might as well just join on now. You know what I'm saying? You might as well. It's like, you know, like the Elon Elon Musk's mission. Like if you're if you're trying to go to the Mars, you might as well just hop on yeah, now yeah, before, like, before we're already there. You know what I mean? Like, don't, like, don't wait till we get, like, big. And then go, oh, you know, I used to know them, but I was never subscribed. Mate, yeah. like, just do it. It's fine. It doesn't hurt. We post once a week. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, too, if you're lucky. Sometimes, too. Sometimes, too. But let's, yeah, let's jump into it. Um, yeah, I don't know what's popping with you. I love these intros. We do something different every time. No idea what we're going to say. Boys only. Fun time. First boys only, maybe first or second boys only, depending on when this comes out. Yeah, of season three. Let's just start with like season three thoughts. It's uh, it's, it's going it, so far so good to be honest. Like, yeah. um, I think content's going well. Yeah, yeah. Like we've gotten solid guests from musical performances to um, organizations coming in and teaching us about their organization nice <laughs> it's fine they gotta know what goes on behind the scenes of the podcast you know like um we got two episodes today like this two, is one yeah like and then you'll see another one this, this is probably changing. after yeah but like you know early morning what time is right now Eight? early morning it's 803 803 we 803. got here around like 7 got up around six thirty. yeah our normal day. i don't know yeah that's like that's our normal saturdays you know like um we we wake up six o'clock six thirty ish and pop up right into the studio first thing in the morning get it done so fun time great great way to start off your morning you know I'll tell you a story tell me a story <laughs> what is it so for my class I'm in I'm in biogeochemistry one yeah. time right it's about biology geology and chemistry Mixed hence the, the name right bio. so we have a project called a Vinogretsky column. Nice. I don't know why I said that in a Russian accent. <laughs> but it's like you have to put mud or dirt or soil in like a column and observe it for eight weeks or so. So like you, you stare at it? No, it's just like you take a picture every week. It's sort of like a 70 day, 75 it's day hard, hard challenge, nice. except for eight weeks. Okay. <laughs> for the <laughs> column. The whole idea is to see bacteria grow. Right. You put like an egg in there. Um, like for the nutrients and stuff. It's just an assignment that I have to do. But to do that, you have to get like wetland soil yeah. or dirt, right? I have a river behind my house, right? So I got a shovel. <laughs> and this was like <laughs> midday, at 2 o'clock in the day. I just take a stroll down. I didn't think it was a big deal. I got a, I got a glass column, like a glass yeah. vase or vase or whatever you want to call it in one hand. I got a shovel in the other hand. I didn't think, like, too much of it. Yeah. I was just scrolling down. And, like, the pathway is not really at the river. Mm -hmm. So you have to, like, walk through a couple of trees to get to the river. So I yeah. get to the river, just doing my own thing. I start digging. After a while, I realize, like, the third point of view, if someone just saw me <laughs> digging up something. That's, that's what I was about <laughs> to say, man. Digging in the middle of the day, who are you, who are you trying to bury? And then, and then I got, like, paranoid, sort of. Oh. So then I then I'm, I made it worse by just keep looking around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw me, but like just the whole, 
<laughs> being there. Like, was there... Was it just like no one's there and you're just like, yeah that's what that, made it like weird too oh, like okay. there's no one around me and I'm in a spot what looks like I'm trying to hide something oh, okay but like but, you, I'm just digging up dirt to be honest <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're not burying bodies in there no it was a tiny shovel it's not like one of those big ones so yeah even if they might thought I was like planting a tree but yeah I was from a third point of view I was like. Yeah, it's probably not the best. <laughs> but I mean, like, okay, it'd be more sketchy if it was like, I would say, like late at night, yeah, late at night I type know. of vibes, or I like early, really early mornings. But then, it's like if it's like day. two p.m., like, yeah, I don't think, I don't think anyone's suspecting you, yeah. unless you're like, I, I was, yeah. At first, I was like, oh man, no problem, yeah. But I was just in a weird location, which looked like sort of secluded underneath a near bridge area, and I was like, hey, somebody might even call the cops. No, nah, they wouldn't, but it's fine. You know, That'd be it, scary, man. It's like, a nice neighborhood. <laughs> imagine getting called on the cops for digging dirt. Like, <laughs> yeah. How, how would you even explain that story? When I walked out, I have a glass full of dirt Yeah. in one hand and a shovel in the other hand. <laughs> so I don't know. Like That gives me... That I, get, I was just like, I, I don't even know how I'd explain this. Like... <laughs> What are you doing, sir? Um, I'm just digging up dirt. Because <laughs> I hadn't read the assignment fully, so I didn't actually know what it was really for. I just yeah. knew I needed a whole bunch of dirt. So It's like, you know, you read those assignments, you scrim through it. Oh, I need dirt. Like, yeah, because to-do list it, one. This assignment's not due like eight weeks till now. Yeah, so, like, yeah, yeah. I just need to get it and like, start, start the preparation. So I was like, I'll read the assignment later. I just, need, I just know I need dirt. Yeah, so I got it, but... Yeah, those were like, oh man, those assignments are like always the funnest. Like I remember in middle school um, and they do this quite often is you get like, I don't know, it was maybe in science class. They like make you plant a plant seed yeah, yeah. of uh-huh. some sort of crop yeah. and you're supposed to like make it grow and like oh. they teach you about yeah. like the photosynthesis and like all that stuff. And it's amazing. I never did it, but my cousin did. And when he was really young, so he had like a small thing, something like this, right? Yeah. Just this is fake, but you know, <laughs> the real one. And he had like a bean in it, right? Mans would walk his bean around the house <laughs> like a pet. <laughs> He's like, oh, here's some sunlight. Here's some sunlight. <laughs> and it was the cutest thing ever. And then every day I'd be like, did you walk your bean today? He's like, yeah, I walked my bean today. <laughs> it's so funny because like, my cousins my little cousins always do this and they got it as like a covid project sure. um so they were like oh what can we teach these kids that are they're just chilling in their house right mm-hmm. um and i think it, what they plant like some sort of wheat sure. um and he's just like i'm really upset today it's, <laughs> it's so cloudy my my plant's not getting any sunlight oh. and all that and i'm like wow like that's actually it's cute they they dedicate that like whole attention and like time towards those things. And it's like so amazing to see. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute to see. But then the plant ends up dying. <laughs> yeah. Like I, <laughs> ideally, like, I don't know if they've gotten me interested in planting, but <laughs> I don't know, man. Good for Learn, it's like hands on learning, which I really appreciate in schools. But mm-hmm. I don't know, man. It's, it's fun. Yeah. I got another story from my walks slash runs behind mm-hmm. my thing so what i realized like sometimes you know you when you see people they just have like everyone's got their own life going yeah, really yeah. and sometimes when you're in your own life you don't really realize that other people are also in their own life thing so i was out yesterday and i saw this girl or not girl she's a woman yeah old, like a uh, older older individual she had a camera, like a big one, not yeah. like one of those small, like some like natural geographic type of cameras, <laughs> like the the thousand the, dollar lenses. It looked like you know, I don't even know how to explain it, but it looked like you know a real big one had like little waves on it. I don't know. Okay, it was a real <laughs> big one. I don't know much about cameras. Pop okay. a picture <laughs> if I can find. I don't even know what to search, but like <laughs> <laughs> big <yeah>. camera, <laughs> a big camera. Okay, and then so, but she had that one, and then she had one around her neck, like sort of the Sony ones or the ones that we use here. Right, so she had two cameras. So I walked past her the first time, and I Wait, she was was it was these like the f- old style filming cameras where like no, back no, in the no, day no, they no. had those over the shoulder type. No, of it stuff? was more of like a point and shoot thing. Okay, but it was big. Okay, it okay. was bigger yeah, yeah. than the average camera, right? So I walked past her the first time. I was doing my thing. She was in another area, and then I ran past her, and I was like, oh, "That's cool. She's probably doing something." 
And I, I thought about talking with her then, but she was too far and like was taking a picture of a deer or something. Yeah. I was like, I'll leave her alone. Went back and I came back and, you know, she was on my path and I was like, I had a split decision. Like, do I talk to this woman? Do I not talk to this woman? Like, you know? Yeah. So I was like, I eh, might as well. You know, I know somewhat about cameras. We shoot here, so... You know, you pick up lingo from here and there. <laughs> <laughs> What's your frame rate? <laughs> yeah, so I was like, I walked past. I was like, did you get any shots today? Yeah. Right? And she's like, oh, I got it's such a nice woman, right? Just a yeah. nice, friendly woman. And she's like, yeah, I actually got so many, right? Because I, I don't think anyone asked her. Yeah. And like, which is normal. It's like, no one, asked, like you're in the middle of a forest. No one's asking you what kind of shots <laughs> you're getting. <laughs> but I was like, I, I was just like fascinated. I was like, because I saw her like getting the angles, you know, like yeah, crouching yeah. down. <laughs> I don't know what she was shooting. Looked like some trees or some wetlands or whatever. So I talked to her and then I'm like, I know a little bit about cameras, but not a lot. What kind of, what, what kind of lens you rock in? <laughs> Worst mistake of my life. <laughs> How long were you sitting there for? What, what was the we were standing. We were standing. We were probably like six, well, for COVID six. reason. We were like, uh, we were standing pretty far, right? Yeah. And she goes off. She's like, 45 millimeter, 35 aperture. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> what did I get into? I was like, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And then she's like, oh, I was out at like another forest the other day. Yeah. And I got, um, I got this not large, like uh, some, some, some type of animal on this yeah. like, on my big 56 millimeter, I have no, I'm making these numbers up now, but like just the <laughs> stuff that I didn't know. Right. And then, so I was like, wow. Um, I was like, do you post them somewhere? Cause I was like, let me check out your work. And, uh, she was like, uh, do you want my business card? I was like, do you have a business card? I'll take yeah. it. So she gives me her business card and I search her up and a very nice woman. Actually, you might actually get her on the show. She emailed us after. Oh, um, she, so, you that's know, that's awesome. Um, but like, she's an author poet. And I, I was just like, the idea of it had I just walked past her, yeah, like I and she was so passionate about what she does, and she's just uh, nice, warm, and she's like, I told her about the podcast, and she's like, wow, that's amazing, you know, just you just don't know who you meet on these walks. I was like, you know, it's like it doesn't hurt to like say hi to someone. Yeah, I, I that's one thing I've realized, like being stuck in inside for two years now, pretty much in Manitoba. Mm. Like whenever you get the chance to just talk to someone. Yeah, it's like amazing, and it could be like just simple. How are you? I mean, like that question is overrated, mm -hmm. like personally for me. But just like understanding, like hey, like yeah, like for example, like you're on a walk and someone has a camera, like yeah, I'm sure. I wanted to see if like there was like some she got like a eagle or something. Like yeah, that. yeah. There's no eagles, but like you know, I I wanted to see sort of stuff. But I elderly, was, I gotta say, elderly people are so fascinating. Man. Yeah. Like she, she wasn't elderly, but like she was, uh, she was yeah, older. Like, so yeah, like older than me. Uh, our older generation. Yeah, you she could be like, like my mom age. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And like, oh man, some of the stuff like they, you ask them like the simplest question. Like for example, yesterday when I was working, um, this, I, I did my job. I, I feel like I'm pretty good at my job. And like sure. my colleagues were sitting there, they're helping me serve her. And once she leaves or like, She's like, I'm never coming back to the movie theaters again. Oh, no. Right after, like, I'm finished my transaction with her and everything. And yeah. That kind of hurt me. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, it's, I'm like, okay, before you walk away, like, I actually said this. I'm like, man, before you walk away, like, is there a certain reason why? And yeah. she's just like, oh, I'm like, did I do something wrong? Or like, what, how can I make it better? Sure. And she's like, oh, no. Don't worry about it. I, I've been, she's like, I'm just tired of COVID. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, here we go. That's a good, good conversation. Yeah. And like, she's like, I've been stuck inside for two years. And like, I have this gift card and I finally got to use it. And like, it was a $50 gift card. Her total comes out to be like $45. And she's like, there's $5 left on it. Like that just, that yeah. whole situation kind of just made me angry. Oh. And I'm like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and then it's just like, I felt so bad, but like, it's, it's, yeah, it's so fascinating to talk to people, like, just on a random occasion, like... Yeah, just say hi. It's, yeah. You know? Because maybe someone doesn't say hi. Like, who knows? I don't know. I, I just, like, looking at it from a third point, like, intro introspective kind of way, I was like... Yeah. It's a good thing I said hi. Yeah, like, it, you know? Sometimes it's, like, those things, it's like, <laughs> maybe the universe is, like, saying something, you know? Like, <laughs> maybe I was meant to say hi like yeah. you could have just easily ran past her go home Nothing. dig up your dirt again 
Yeah. <laughs> but Go watch, stare at my dirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> stare at your dirt again. But no, you choose to you chose to say hi. I thought it was a smart decision. And yeah. Like, who knows? Like if something happens out of it, cool. Like if you know, I think it would be a cool conversation. But if not, like just the fact that me and her shared an interaction about cameras and stuff and just like on our own time, nothing no like just for fun, you know. No catch or nothing. anything. Yeah. No one. She's not. I'm not trying to sell her anything. She's not trying to sell me nothing. <laughs> like that. That's one thing I've realized in like today's society. Everyone's just trying to go at it, you know. And it's amazing to see people like go go get that bag, go yeah. get your dreams, like chase it. But I feel like, at some extent, people like twist that narrative and like try to manipulate every situation to benefit their Facts. benefit themselves. You know, like. You'll be at a casual get together um, pre COVID, and everyone would be like, and there's always that one person that's like, hey, here's my business card. Like, I'm going <laughs> to try to sell you this product and that product. And I'm like, man, I'm, I'm here to just like relax. Yeah, I've had enough true. stress. Like, you know, like, there's always, and it's not wrong. Yeah. It's like, not wrong. And I'm like, yo, bag. get that bag. But like, I, I feel like there's, <laughs> there's got to be a balance at one point, I one agree. point or another. You get them DMs too. Oh I, yeah, I've All got a couple of DMs, just selling me from the start. No, yeah. like, hi, how are you? Yeah, it's just like, I've got this great forex trading <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna boost your portfolio by twenty fold. Yeah. All right, maybe, maybe yeah. like good for you. Like, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm not invested Dude, in the space, but yeah. like, maybe. I don't know, man. Like, there's people there. There. And these like organizations are built so like it's like tiered profile yeah, the pyramid like, scheme the pyramid schemes yeah. right so like the more people you bring in the higher you go up onto the pyramids people i don't mean like okay yeah you're trying to get your leads but like man it's at one point where like you know oh this person reached out to me and like can you can you do like an info session for sunday mm -hmm. and i'm like i got a lot of work to do trying to make all the excuses i can to not go because it's sure I know what the catch is, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I you know, know I've done my enough research to know where, like, I know if it's a good opportunity, obviously I'm going to take it. But at points, it's like, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll try to, don't don't count me on it, don't <laughs> hold me to it, but I'll, I'll try to make it work. You know, because I always want to learn something, but then they nonstop hit you up like, hey, yeah, I, yeah, you yeah. couldn't make it on Sunday. I got Monday <laughs> at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. What works best for you? I'm like, hey, man, to be honest. I ain't coming. I'm not the type of guy. <laughs> like I know you're trying to hustle out here. You're you're trying to catch the bag, but <laughs> if you're trying to get me onto your platform, I'm sorry. Don't waste your time here. Yeah. I'm not coming. It's also because we understand like the business model, sort yeah. of. Yeah. Like we reached out to people as well to be on this podcast. Like we understand like the dynamic of asking and receiving and everything. So like when someone reaches out to me, like I, I can somewhat just tell like. Are you here just for a conversation or are you here for a business or are yeah. you trying to, what are you tr really trying to do with your conversation? So I don't know how, but it's just like a sort of like. The intention's got to be there from like, okay, yeah, you can be direct. I love that. But there's a time and a place to yeah. be direct. Mm -hmm. Like in the DMs, if you're just like the first time a random person and you're like, <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's yeah. make a, like a, <laughs> no. a sign a deal. Nah, man. I don't know you. Yeah. <laughs> like at least. Get that time, yeah. build that relationship, and then over time, then Maybe. pitch it. Yeah, if you're really trying to go, like, serious, if you're just trying to get the, like, quick bag. And I love the people who say, yeah, there's nothing in it for me. I'm just trying to help you. That's, the, there's yeah. definitely something in it for yeah. you. That's the one. Yeah, I appreciate your love for spreading love. <laughs> but that's not. It's, it's like, it's like you know, not a breakup. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> yeah. Like, shut up. I, I know you're getting something out of it. Like, I, and I ask them too sometimes. I'll, I'll respond to the DMs every once in a while. I'll be like, so how much you get out of this? <laughs> and then sometimes, very few times they actually tell me. But I've had a couple of times when they do tell me. And I was like, so how much you get for me to like just showing up? They're like, well, we get, like, an initial bonus, and if you sign, you get a certain amount. Yeah. I was like, all right, half the bonus for me showing up. <laughs> Let's make a real deal. Like, give me yeah. give me my whatever I'm providing just for showing up. Yeah. They never do it. But yeah, yeah, exactly, because, like, everyone's – and, like, yeah, man, like, get your bag, get your bag. But if you're getting 50 bucks, yeah, PayPal me 25, 25. I'll show up for the one hour. 
<laughs> I can't promise you I'll interact, but <laughs> I'll show up. I'll show up. <laughs> It'll say I'm available in that little corner. I'll, the computer screen will be on. <laughs> That's hilarious. But, so, anyways, switching up topics here. I I had a quick realization of something, and it's actually one of my good friends. They told me this. Mm-hmm. The word bed. Yeah, I'll put it up on a screen right here. Very com- uh, very familiar with yeah, the concept bed, of a bed. Uh-huh. Nice. See, have you? Okay, I'm gonna put a lowercase here because. Oh. Okay. <laughs> see it. Mm-hmm. Do you see it? Like it looks like a bed. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the word bed, B E D, looks like an actual bed because there's a header, I there's a footer, it. and then the mattress. Yeah, I never oh. thought of that. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> like, how crazy is that? I when I I was like, wow. Now that you actually, like, think about it? It does look like it, yeah. And, like, you could you maybe be those pillows. Those could be pillows. Yeah. Even. You see what I'm saying? I do see it now. Yeah, it's hard to unsee it now. Like, every time I look at a bed now, it's like, <laughs> B-E-D. <laughs> There's also, yeah, that's sick. Like, that blew my mind. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, what are you saying? Yeah. And they're like, just read it again. Read it. And yeah. then I'm, like, paying close attention. I type it out in, like, big letters, and I'm like, Oh yeah, I saw. I saw like when it was uppercase, I didn't see it, but then when you yeah lower lowercase, I was like, oh, I see it. It's really tough. I was like, let's see it. Damn. That like blew my mind. I was like, what the hell? But, uh, type type minus four. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> minus oh, that like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't know the word. Okay, minus four. <laughs> minus four. And then put the degree symbol on top if you can. That's going to be a difficult one. Yeah, bro, I can't put the degree. I'll, I'll put an asterisk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is going to be tough. I'll see if I can find it. Uh, or maybe you could do an O and then just superscript it. No, 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 no. It should be there. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> we should have prepared this before. Here, is this one? Uh, this one. Is that it? Right here. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. That's insert, it. Insert. insert. Well, there we go. Okay. Okay. Minus four degrees. It's up on the screen. So, I I don't fully see it, but people have said it. This looks like some guy sitting on the Taking toilet. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> you see I it? See like it. that's the head. Oh. This is his like hands, feet. What's that minus then? I have no idea. <laughs> the poop coming like out. Maybe the, the edge of the toilet. <laughs> maybe if you flip maybe it. You, maybe you could take the minus out. I think it would still look the yeah, same. Yeah. It, or it looks like a perch person, like, Le- like hunched crouching. over. Yeah, like hunched, hunched over. over you know? That's crazy. Retic was surprised by that one. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, man. Either this or, like, there's so many, so many other more that you could do. But, like, the bed one really got me. Yeah, For some yeah. reason, I was like... Wow, I've actually never thought. I, about I've that. never heard the bed one. I've heard, I've seen this one, but yeah, that's <laughs> insane. Anyways, that was that was my peak of the <laughs> highlight for me for the week. Nice. That's what the, the, the the bed the bed. That's what. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll put it back to the podcast so side. But yeah, man. A <laughs> lot of lot of interesting stuff in the world. I. Hey yo, we interrupt this episode to bring you today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of classes in design, business, tech, and more. Anyone can join the millions of the members in the community to learn cutting-edge skills, network with peers, and discover new opportunities. If you'd like to support our show and are interested in Skillshare, click the first affiliate link in our description to get your 14-day free trial on us. It's quick, easy, and you can cancel it anytime. Now back to the episode. There's this girl on TikTok who's getting attention from all the brands. I don't know if you know her. The one that just sits in her car? No, no. There's this girl who says, like, it's more like satire videos. Or I actually don't know what the what the terminology of genre is. But it's it's sort of like troll videos. Um, ah. uh, we could put it up if we could find it. But maybe not now. Okay. But yeah, well, anyway, but she's she says she's like a graphic designer. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I've seen it. <laughs> and then she's like, I just want to redesign. The oh, logo. The See if yeah. you can find it. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her yeah. name. Her name's Emily something. Emily. Yeah, this girl. This, this girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I graduated college with a degree in design, and I redesigned some popular logos. I think we can all agree are ugly. So here we go. Um, 
Shout out Emily. Um, we don't know you. But. The first logo I chose to work on was Starbucks. I don't like anything about it. I hate this green color. <laughs> I don't like this figure. I don't even know The funny know thing who is she is. said she's a graphic designer. Maybe lady. the president or something. The font is also just tacky and outdated. So I redesigned it with more of a happier feel. <laughs> I, I wanted to maintain so the integrity it's of the stars in the original fun. logo because I truly so think hilarious. that's the only good thing about it. And then I chose this nice contemporary font. That and the thing is, like, together. it's not like she's she's going like full out in detail explaining yeah. her all of it. <laughs> she and she keeps a straight face, is yeah. which I'm like, our, all her videos are layers. This is we're not like I just love her videos, yeah. like great content. Like wait, the first time I watched it was like I'm like, wait, I didn't understand the concept, and yeah. it took me like two times to rewatch it, and was like, oh, she's trolling. Yeah, she's trolling. She troll and she knows what she's doing. But the funny thing is, every major brand is pushing her. Yeah. Like every and I'm talking like TikTok rechanged their logo to the one that she created, which is a whole bunch of stars or whatever. Really? Amazon, like Amazon CEO, not yeah. CEO, well, not Jeff Bezos, but Amazon recreate put the logo that she created. And it's like not a good logo. It's clearly troll. They put that as their profile picture. On TikTok? on TikTok. Oh, wow. TikTok, the official account on TikTok did it. Adobe, all these major brands are yeah. reaching out because they know that she, because each video is pulling 12 million views. Yeah. Each That's crazy. 60 second video is pulling 12. And <laughs> yeah, we should, we should, do, we should send it over to her and watch what she does with it. Every brand out there. And I'm, there's like football teams. Yeah. Like Detroit, the Detroit Lions, like yeah. a football team printed her logo on t-shirts wow and gave it to their players and was like what do you think and people are i i great like marketing why i'm just looking at like a creator standpoint like yeah. she's able to get every single brand, brand. and there's so many brands that Unlimited. she doesn't really do yeah like if you look through her comments major brands are like us do next. us next yeah. do us next mcdonald's is like do us next like major major companies and i'm like our girl like that's what i'm saying like at what point is like oh you could like get off of anything <laughs> like bro trolling the internet right now it's like yeah but brand and brands are smart with it though yeah because they know that the video is gonna get 12 million views they know if they continue her cycle put their thing on there people are gonna look it's just free exposure yeah free exposure. it's like any marketing is good marketing yeah or bad I don't but know what LeVar Ball said there. Good but press is, or bad press is good press or something. Yeah, like bad, like something, right? Yeah. The thing is, these people know. These companies are <laughs> getting on people, like, you know, in nowadays, like, you don't need a college degree to, like, work for any higher mm. companies. Well, I know Apple doesn't require it. Sure. Um, because they're realizing that, mm -hmm. like, this generation is like, yo, they know how to market. Yeah. And especially, like, the younger generations, like, our Kind of millennial. I can I can never say this. <laughs> millennial. 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 Yeah. Millennial. <laughs> okay. R H. You got me. You got me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This word's always like sure. trippy. Anyways, our generation. Our generation is by far like yo. We're good at marketing. We know what we're doing. I think so. Because we're on our phones mm -hmm. the whole day. Yeah. We know what it kind of hits. Yeah. And like, especially with the six, 60 second videos, like if you can hold a retention now for 60 seconds, that's a lot. Uh, I was watching another thing and they said, attention is the most valuable currency in the world. Like, yeah, you could pay someone, but if you can hold someone's attention, yeah, nah, you could, you could send them any, like if someone's willing to watch you or play your app or do whatever for extended period of time, and you have their attention, they're not focused on anything else. Yeah. If you're able to capture their attention, then you can, if you would like, you could send them ads. If you yeah. can send a product because they have your full attention. It's and like, it's like that psychological trick where, you know, if someone's talking or like someone's on the phone, mm -hmm. you could literally hand them anything and they'll put their hand yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I've tried this so many times with my parents and then like they're on the phone, I'll hand them like a pen and they're like, and what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, they'll look at it and I'm like, what are you doing? It works. It yeah. works, man. <laughs> yeah, attention is key. Like, you get someone's attention, it's like kind of like follow the sh follow the leader type of vibes. Mm -hmm. Like, p 
people want to fit in. People yeah. want to know what's happening in society. They mm-hmm. want to feel a part of society. If you can get them hooked and you're semi popular, yeah, ding ding ding. Your con- your content's gonna be good though. I think yeah. it all like. It all stems back to when we learned this marketing class too. Really. It's th- this was one of the key takeaways that I took from marketing class was your product's got to be good. Yeah. You could do the, um, as much marketing as you like, but if your product's horrible, you're not going to do anything. That's why I liked her videos. Like when I first saw them, I was like, it's like good content. Yeah. And then I dove into like how the business of this is working. Like I'm, I'm, this might just be like uh, crazy, but I would not be surprised if one of these brands like paid them. Oh yeah, her. bro. Like I'm, I'm definitely. If she's smart, hmm. which I, she looks like she is, because from her I mean, videos. Her, I mean, her videos portray her as not smart, but, but like, but like her, you gotta be smart attention. to be dumb. dumb. Yeah. Like, you gotta be smart to play dumb. <laughs> yeah. You know? And if she's smart about it, especially in this digital currency world. Yeah. I it's NFTs. She could she could sell them as NFTs, right? Yeah. Or she could be like, okay, you want to put it up. Pay Either me. give me credit or pay me. I'm going to get you 12 million views, guaranteed. Yeah. How much are you willing to pay for 12 million views? 12 like, million. <laughs> it's not a dollar, but... Yeah, you know they, what I mean? They, like, they would probably pay half a million to that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For like, sure. she's definitely getting some sort of a bag. Yeah, have you seen, have you seen like, the Instagram creators? Uh, like, people like Drake, Kim Kardashian, uh, yeah. Ronaldo. Per post is, like, a million. Yeah. Plus, yeah. Per post. We post for free. <laughs> <laughs> we have 163 <laughs> posts We're, we should be 160 billion rich right now where's our money instagram there's the thing like they're never gonna go broke no because even <laughs> if like let's say something random happens you know and like somehow they lose all their wealth yeah hey i'll just post you on my instagram <laughs> <laughs> just do like three posts I'll, and I'll get tag three you. mil. Yeah, like I'll tag you. Like, you know, like like that's the currency. Like that's what people want. Insane, man. Those are crazy numbers. When I when I read the numbers of like how much people will pay for an Instagram post. Wow. Yeah, like the thing about the wow. Ronaldo is that. Wow. He doesn't make as much of money from playing football mm-hmm. than he does from his endorsements, endorsements. yeah and like his mm-hmm. cr7 brand his nike deal his instagram like all that stuff yeah bro real smart plays he's like in the top top 10 creators uh in terms of like following mm-hmm. in the world and yeah. it's like crazy and uh, and that's why brands are will because they because it may not be like i don't know how many how many followers he has but i'm sure it's like 100 something million yeah right but brands know they're not getting 100 million people because you know, engagement's different than they get followers. 10%. They get oh, you could yeah. If ten five percent, you can average ten to five percent. Yeah. If you're more, that's even better. But brands know they're gonna get ten million eyes on it. Yeah. To ten million eyes, if only one percent of them converge, hundred. Like you know, yeah. hundred thousand people buy your product, go to your website, whatever. Like that is a hundred thousand people. You could. And let's say you sell something for five bucks each, like five hundred thousand. You send like ten dollars, a million dollars, just from one post, one like, post, you know, from that creator or figure in this. In hey man, we we live in a crazy world. Is it? Uh, yeah, I I, re- I read the I read through the thing and I was very so shocked. I was like, wow. So, on that note, I think this is a great way to end off the podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to our audio and video podcast uh we're back on youtube now so make sure to subscribe down in the description hit that hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification uh we're live on the umfm radio station 101.5 fm every tuesdays at 11 30 a.m and we're back on all platforms for streaming wise until next time peace